Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you about OpenTelemetry. What is it and why is it so cool? To start with, it's an open source framework that lets you observe your entire application stack. Back in the day of on-prem virtual environments, we are used to having a server. And on that server, we're used to this concept of installing an agent. Now this agent typically monitors things like your application logs and your system logs. It also gets things like metrics, so your CPU, RAM, disk usage. And these have traditionally been very vendor specific. So if you're using a popular product like Splunk or Grafana, that means you are locked in to that vendor. This agent did its job quite well, but with the move to the cloud, architecture started to get more complicated. Single servers turned into load balanced applications that had multiple servers all running. And you would often have managed services for things like your database, generalized storage. In Amazon, they call this S3. For the database, they call this RDS. And you may also want to decouple your application using queues like Kafka queues or SQS SNS. And all of a sudden, that little agent that you had running on a single server now is not able to observe the rest of your application stack. So in comes OpenTelemetry, which allows you to pull everything in together into a centralized hub. You can do whatever you want with your data and then send it on its way. There are generally two things you need to care about when it comes to OpenTelemetry. The first is you need to obviously install it correctly. Instructions on their website, super simple to follow. But the second and most important thing is the correct definition of your config file. This is a single YAML file that you define, which is broken up into four key sections, which we're about to dive into. Essentially, this file is going to dictate exactly what you monitor, what you're going to do about it, and where you're going to finally send it off to. The first key section is what they call receiver. This is what telemetry data do you want to actually receive? These are things like logs, metrics, traces, database information, anything from external sources, your load balances, your storage, everything you want to observe, you put into this receiver. There's an entire GitHub repo that I highly recommend you check out that has everything I'm about to talk to clearly defined with examples. So if you wanted a particular file log receiver, or you wanted to monitor a database, you simply drill into the section you care about. They've got examples and instructions on how to use it. Right now, I'm just covering things conceptually. Once you've got your receivers defined, the next key section is processes. What do you actually want to do with this telemetry data? Some common processes are batching of the telemetry data so you don't send everything at once, filtering out information so you may want to filter out personally identifiable information from your logs as an example, or you may want to append custom attributes. Things like what is my application name, is it a dev environment, is it production, what build number. Sky is the limit when it comes to your custom attributes. You then have exporters. This is where do you want to send your telemetry to? Are you using Splunk? Are you using Grafana? Are you using some kind of other custom tool? You can send this wherever you want. And this is where OpenTelemetry really shines because you are not locked into a specific vendor. When you've set this up, if you're using Grafana now and you decide to switch to another tool, all you have to do is change a single line in a config file. Very handy. And the final key section of your config file is pipeline. This is how do you want to combine your receivers, your processes, and your exporters. You have to define a pipeline. That is, how does it all mesh together? What's really cool about the concept of pipelines is you can configure different pipelines. That is, hook different receivers, processes, and exporters all together. So if you had a bunch of system logs and you wanted to just capture everything, you can do that. If you had a bunch of application logs, but you also wanted to do a bit of filtering, you can also do that. 
or if you wanted to capture your metrics but send it to a completely different platform than your logs because you've got this magical new tool that is so much better, couple lines of YAML code and you're good to go. This is very powerful stuff that seems to be getting a bit of momentum in the industry. It's a really cool concept, especially when it comes to observability, something I highly recommend you guys check out. Now, I'm going to leave three links in the description down below. The first is how to actually install OpenTelemetry. The second is a link to their official GitHub repository. And the third is a link to their open source contributors repo. When it comes to setting up your config file, I found that contributors repo to have so many more different options available to you than just their standard base offering. So yeah, go away, have a bit of fun with it. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. It's a bit of a new concept, which is quite different to just simply installing and running an agent on a VM. So I wanted to make this video quickly because I wish somebody had told me this when I went down this rabbit hole. So yeah, I hope you found this interesting. Also, if you would like an actual like in-depth step-by-step tutorial of me showing my screen and exactly how you deploy and do this, let me know. I kept this video as a very high level conceptual thing just because I didn't know if there'd be demand for me to go in depth. But if there's demand for it, let me know and I will do one in future. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will catch you in the next video.